Lori's basis for leadership really comes from extreme competence, understanding people really well, and then really uniquely understanding the context in which we operate. So when she thinks about what we should do and, and why we should do it, it's really with an understanding of how to advance our overall mission, the mission of her faculty, the mission of the department, because of that awareness that she has. I was a classically trained mechanical engineer, all primed to work in the aerospace industry. I found a mentor who had been an aerospace engineer and who had pivoted in his work to work in the design of mechanical constructs like prosthetic joints. I'm motivated in my work at Washington University because the faculty and the staff are all aligned with an interest to support our students. And when you wake up every day with the mission to train tomorrow's leaders, it's very easy to be motivated in the work that you do. So in my work, I've studied fluid solid interactions in musculoskeletal tissues and figured out the signals that produce stress. And we've engineered artificial materials in order to replicate healthy loading conditions. But I think what really drives her is the ability to improve the human condition. Her work can very soon, almost immediately, be considered in terms of how it can improve people's lives. And I know she takes deep satisfaction in that being sort of the, the mission of her laboratory. I'm delighted to receive this award. I see it as an award that reflects the contributions of all in biomedical engineering. And I love that it brings visibility of biomedical engineers to the entire campus at Washington University.